defense experts say Putin wants Ukraine victory by 2026. As the battle continues to drain Russia's military and public credibility, experts and Kiev officials say Vladimir Putin faces an ultimatum in his invasion of Ukraine, according to ISW. Russia apparently hopes to achieve a decisive victory in Ukraine by 2026 before likely medium to long term economic and force generation restrictions begin to seriously weaken Russia's ability to sustain its war effort in Ukraine. ISW quoted Kirill Obudinov, chief of Ukraine's main intelligence directorate, S. Sunday statements at an international conference in Kiev. Budinov said 2025 will be crucial for Russia in the fight due to personnel shortages and military recruitment issues. The RAND Corporation found that Russia's high casualty tactics in Ukraine and poor treatment of military troops had diminished soldiers' motivation to fight and public trust in the military operation. On Tuesday, Ukraine's Armed Forces General Staff reported that Russia has lost 635,880 men since the invasion in February 2022. Russian military deaths have led Moscow to take more severe recruitment efforts to keep its army staffed, albeit these numbers are likely overstated. In late July, Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin offered a one time payment of 1.9 million rubles. $20,793, for signing soldiers in addition to their monthly salaries. In mid-July, Chelyabinsk boosted lump sum payouts to 705,000 rubles. ISW sees them as growing costs and issues with the Russian military's capacity to continue recruiting personnel. Budinov noted that Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Korsk Oblast and drone and missile strikes on Russian territory have undermined Russian support for the conflict and shattered its myth of invincibility. The first explosions in Moscow smashed this fiction on Russian soil, Budinov stated Sunday. This is the main achievement of all these long-range strikes. Thus, Budinov cautioned that Putin must either mobilize the military reservists again, as he did in September 2022 or curtail operations in Ukraine. He warned that failing to win in Ukraine will kill Moscow's dreams of remaining a global superpower for decades. These are their calculations. By this point, they must be conditional victors or forfeit their chance to become a superpower for 30 years Budinov remarked. Then China and the US remain. Russia can only rely on regional leadership, which is inadequate. Clinton answered on MSNBC's The Rachel Maddow Show on Monday if she thought the U.S. government was taking election intervention seriously. The query came after Attorney General Merrick Garland accused Russia today of a nearly $10 million conspiracy to pay and direct a Tennessee-based corporation to create and spread content judged beneficial to the Russian government. Clinton said there is a considerable distance to go to determine Russia and other countries' election interference. I think it's important to indict the Russians, just as Mueller indicted a lot of Russians who were engaged in direct election interference and in boosting Trump back in 2016, Clinton said, referring to 2018 indictments of Russian individuals and companies for election tampering to boost Trump's 2016 election support. However, I believe Americans engage in this propaganda. Because Russians are unlikely to ever stand trial in the U.S., civil or criminal charges would be a better deterrent, while describing Russia's influence on American media to swing the election, she claimed Republicans echo Russian talking points in Congress. At a briefing last month, a senior intelligence official told Reuters, they use witting and unwitting Americans to plant, promote, and legitimize foreign actors' narratives. Usually, foreign countries assume Americans believe other Americans' beliefs. The segment also covered media coverage of Trump's comments and Clinton's belief that Americans are getting desensitized to his words while rejecting the chaos that he symbolizes.